goodness, Mrs. Eames, how are you? Do you remember my friend Schubert and my friend Sophie? Oh, Sophie's a little, a little floppy today. All right, well, we were back. So Mrs. Eames decided maybe I should just read something that we've already read together so we can remember how to use the safe place. So Mrs. Espinoza did a lesson about finding a safe place in your house and how to do that. So make sure you go to Mrs. Espinoza's classroom and look at her video about the safe place and how to make a safe place in your house. And then you can remember this book, Schubert is a Star. So we're gonna read that next, Schubert and I and Sophie. And you listen along and you remember about all the different ways to help calm our body so we can solve our problems. All right, I miss you guys so much. If you wanna comment about this, let me know because I'd love to hear from you. All right, bye everyone. Talk to you soon. Schubert is a Star by Dr. Becky A. Bailey and illustrated by James Hercock. It's a stormy day in Bug Valley. Schubert and his sister Sophie are watching the rain from their kitchen window and they both feel mad because they can't go out and play. Schubert sings grumpily, hooray, hooray, what a yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I feel mad today. And then he stomps off to his room. Then that, that night, Schubert still feels mad and he refuses to eat dinner. I'm not eating those worms. I don't like fried worms. Schubert wakes up the next morning feeling just as mad and he continues to sing his grumpy song. Hooray, hooray, another yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I still feel mad today. And then he slams the door shut and heads to school. At school, Crenshaw the Cricket is doing his job as the class greeter and he welcomes Schubert and Sophie. Good morning, Schubert. Good morning, Sophie, it's good to see you. Whatever, replies Schubert without even looking. Sophie says, good morning, Crenshaw, and they share a butterfly handshake. Schubert's body is tense, and he has angry hands and angry shoulders and an angry face, and he walks towards his desk, and he steps on Ed of the Earthworm's hole just because he feels like it. Ed screams from below, I don't like being trapped, Schubert, please move, and Schubert just stands there. Mrs. Bookbinder hears Etta use her big voice and walks towards Schubert to keep the classroom safe. As she approaches, Schubert moves his foot so that Etta can get out. Mrs. Bookbinder congratulates Etta. You did it. You used your big voice to tell Schubert what you wanted. Then Mrs. Bookbinder speaks to Schubert. You seem to be having a hard start this morning. Your shoulders are scrunched up like this and your hands are balled up tight like this. And you grumped at Crenshaw's greeting and we're hurtful to Etta. Your body and actions are telling me you might be feeling mad. Schubert says nothing. Schubert walks over and puts his head down on his desk. Mrs. Bookbinder gathers the rest of the class together and she asks them, have you ever felt mad? All together they respond, yes. She tightens her fist and continues, have you ever felt bug crazy mad? Again, they all answer, yes. Magically, Mrs. Bookbinder softens her voice. Have you ever felt calm? She takes a deep breath and acts calm. And the class whispers softly, yes. Relaxing her face, she asks, have you ever felt caterpillar calm? And they all whisper, yes. Which one helps you feel safe? Caterpillar calm or bug crazy mad, Mrs. Bookbinder asks. Most of the class picks Caterpillar Calm. And Mrs. Bookbinder then wonders, do you know how to change from Bug Crazy Mad to Caterpillar Calm? The class sits totally still and no one knows the answer. With a gleam in her eye, Mrs. Bookbinder announces, we're in luck. Schubert came to school Bug Crazy Mad, giving us all a chance to learn how to become Caterpillar Calm. I'm gonna teach you three ways to turn bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. Schubert, are you willing to demonstrate the first way? Asks Mrs. Bookbinder as she holds up one finger. Schubert nods yes as he walks to the front of the class. Follow me and do what I do and I'm gonna teach you draining. Miss, Binder, Miss Bookbinder instructs, hold your arms out straight in front of you and make your hands into fists. 
Tighten all the muscles in your arms and squint your shoulders up towards your ears. Squeeze the muscles in your face tight, tight, and tighter. Now take a deep breath. Breathe out and relax, opening your fists up and letting all your anger drain out through your hands. Let your bug crazy mad feelings drain out of your body like water out of a sink faucet. Schubert follows Mrs. Bookbinder carefully and Mrs. Bookbinder turns to class and says, let's all try draining. As Schubert and the class practice draining, Mrs. Bookbinder tells them, you're doing it. You held your arms out tight and let all your anger drain out just like this. Now you're ready to learn the second way to change bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. She looks at Schubert. Are you willing to help again, Schubert? Feeling more relaxed, Schubert answers, let's do another one. Follow me and do what I do. I'm going to teach you how to balloon. Mrs. Bookbinder begins, put your hands on your head and lock your fingers together. Breathe in deeply and raise your hands up over your head like your air is filling up a big balloon. Sniff in more air. Sniff in one more time. Then let the air out as you drop your hands back to your head. Then Clyre class says, <laughs> as they emptied their pretend balloons. Angie, one of the three ant triplets, giggled. The air filled up my body with love. Schubert adds, I like ballooning. I don't feel so yucky anymore. Good for you, Schubert, Miss, replies Mrs. Bookbinder. Mrs. Bookbinder holds up three fingers as she continues. Now are you ready for the third way to change from bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm? This time Schubert nods with excitement and interest. All eyes are on Mrs. Bookbinder as she pulls out a star wand with glitter and tassels. The third way to change Bug Crazy Mad into Caterpillar Calm is to be a star. S-T-A-R means to stop, smile, take a deep breath, and relax. Mrs. Bookbinder touches the wand on Schubert's shoulder as he demonstrates. He stops what he's doing, takes a deep breath, and relaxes his whole body. Benny jumps up and starts dancing and singing. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. Hold on, Benny, guides Mrs. Bookbinder. We have a place in the classroom where you can use these three skills when you feel bug crazy mad, and it's called the safe place. This bean bag will be the safe place for our classroom. I'm gonna try it out, shouts Crenshaw, and he sits in the safe place and begins draining. Next, Lucinda and Etta go to the safe place and practice ballooning. I'm gonna be a star, announces Schubert as he tries out the safe place. It works, he shouts. I change from feelings of oodle doodle, bug crazy mad, to oozy doozy, caterpillar calm. Mrs. Bookbinder beams with love as she says, yes, you did it, Schubert, you used your star power. The class gathers around the safe place as Schubert begins to sing a song. Hooray, hooray, mad is okay. Hooray, hooray, calm's a better way. Hooray, hooray, I changed my lucky day. Hooray, hooray, I'm a star today. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the book, Schubert is a Star. So now I want you to think about if you're upset at home and you get upset with your brother or your sister, or if somebody at home is cranky and they're hard to be around, or you're just sad and upset because you're not at school, or you can't go outside today because it's raining, or whatever reason it is, I want you to remember to go to the safe place at your house, wherever that is. And I want you to pick up your favorite blanket or your favorite stuffed animal or your favorite pillow or your favorite book. And I want you to go to that safe place and I want you to do some of your breaths that we talked about, the star, the balloon, the drain, the pretzel. And I want you to relax your body so you can make good decisions and solve your problems, just like you did at school, okay? So I want you to keep practicing that and do that today or tomorrow, whenever you need to do it next. And keep thinking about all that you learned at school this year, because all your teachers are thinking about you. All right, miss you guys. I'll send another video next week. Talk to you soon.